R integration. Today's topic will be about how to use MicroStrategy to integrate with R. R is a free software tool that's used for data mining, uh, such as you know clustering, forecasting, predictive uh, regression, etc. There's uh, unlimited capabilities with R. Think about R as a very strong calculator for statistical analysis and number crunching. Uh, MicroStrategy, on the other end, is a reporting tool that can utilize R so it can send data and information to R, crunch it there, and bring it back. The first thing we need to do is download R. R is free. So the CRAN project owns R or hosts R, and you can download your version for Windows, etc., or Linux. Once you download it, it'll be in your downloads folder. You'll have R3 whatever. Don't use something lower or less than version 3. It'll not work with the integration package. So and once you run this is what you'll have the R GUI very simple and uh, basic uh, GUI that allows you to produce tons of uh, uh, computations okay so that's the first step so once we got R down next thing is to download the R integration package from MicroStrategy it is in the R integration pack dot com codeplex dot com uh, the idea here is that they wanted to make this open source so that you can view the source, manipulate the source, and reuse it. But at any rate, what we care about is to download, okay? So the first thing I want to do is download the R integration package. The Downloads tab, and there's multiple versions if you're using 10 and up. Or you might want to use something down here if you want to use except 10, like 9, 4, you want to use here. Okay, so this is assuming you already have MicroStrategy installed on your machine or MicroStrategy Analytics Desktop. In this case, in this demo, I'm going to use Analytics Desktop 9.4 uh, just to show you, you know, the simple R integration. It, it's the same process with 10, etc. So download this file, click on it, download it, and this would produce the R integration pack. So run this, the R3 2 to get R, run the R integration pack to get uh, the R integration into MicroStrategy, which introduces data mining formulas into your analytics engine or enterprise. Okay, so those are the first two things. Uh, also, in this R integration uh, pack website, there's documentation for the available MicroStrategy uh, scripts that are already written in R and into and usable in MicroStrategy. So that what they did is they uh, Great for you a bunch of the main the main uh, ones you can have and here's the script that we, you will use for these in MicroStrategy to create these metrics you can switch to file format and here's the, the script in file format so they have a few R scripts that they created for you uh, we could use one of them we could use like the K metoids clustering and here's the cluster it has actually two potential outputs, the cluster and metoids. We can use the cluster. If you need scripting or documentation on this, you can go forward and see under, and understand what's going on. Okay, so as I said, get R, install R, get the R integration package. The R integration is seamless. You don't see it. You just see it when you go into create the metric in the analytics engine, okay? So the R integration package is seamless, though it does install a bunch of scripts that are very useful. Now. The next step, which can be a little confusing for some people, is the installation. So here we're going to use three codes. One is we're going to install the MicroStrategy package. This allows us to interact with R to produce MicroStrategy ready metrics. Okay. So the definition of the metric needs to come from R. Okay. So you can copy this, run it. I already installed it, so I don't need to run it again. Once you install it simple you can load the library library and let me just let me actually just reinstall it see what happens should should it be okay okay so it's going to give me a mirror site and i'm going to choose one okay once i install that i'm going to run the library uh, when you download r some packages are needed such as the gtk plus if it's not already installed in your r environment It'll give you an error and it'll say, hey, do you want to install this? Just say yes, move with the defaults, accept it. It'll take a few more minutes. It'll download a few packages and make it ready for you. Once you're done with that, 
we're going to just deploy. Okay. So what does deploy R do for us? It's actually going to let us interact with the MicroStrategy scripts. When we downloaded the uh, the R integration package, it dropped a few sample scripts for us. Let's look at them. Open some scripts. Take a look. And it's going to be in the folder program files R integration and R scripts. So here's the here's a few of them. Let's look at the K metoids clustering, that one we talked about. Let's open it. And here you are you are. You have the mic strategy begin and end uh, tags showing us that oh you have one, two, three, four parameters, uh, vector of inputs, and two types of outputs. Okay, great. Here's the code. It's got a lot of extra code. I call it extra code meaning it's just uh, code that's trying to do error exceptions and error handling, etc. and file uh, error capturing, etc. But the core of it, the real the core, is something like this. When you see data.frame, this is capturing variables, setting them up into a frame, into one variable, and then applying. And these are the formulas, really, what's happening here and producing clusters, producing models, stuff like that. This is where like the true R power or the true R script shines. And finally, you know, producing the outputs that you wanted. Uh, for example, the model cluster here. So how do you integrate that into my strategy as in into the report? You're still one there's still one more step. You're gonna run deploy R. Here it is. And you're going to open that script. So in our case, we were looking at this one. We're going to open it. And here, here you go. Uh, this is the the input variables. These are the four parameters that we talked about. You can enter any values you want. For example, four, ten, forty-two, default and keep these as defaults unless you don't want the nulls or you don't want sorting okay and this will be produced for you ready to go this is the part that matters for microstrategy this makes sense in microstrategy so everything you've been doing to this point is to get to this script right here okay you can copy it to clipper okay and you're done obviously you don't have to use the microstrategy r script you could have created your own r uh, files just create them in notepad save them in, as a dot r and then test them in your deploy r to make sure that they're working there's uh, if you're not sure how to write something microstrategy specific just go to that website the integration and it'll give you some guidance on how to create them for microstrategy it's really not that complicated but at the same time it's really not that straightforward there's a little bit of steps that you have to always keep in mind and deploy R would be the method to test it. If it doesn't produce for you an output in deploy R and gives you an error, that means you made something, you did something wrong. Let's go and in MicroStrategy, this is the analytics desktop. You can create from scratch or use your own data set or import. I'm actually going to import the. I found this to be useful for this sample. It's the store performance. I downloaded it into my downloads. And it's the .mstr file that I'm going to import. I'll give you those links, no worries at the end. Select the store performance. Here's my dashboard. So now we need to uh, use the R integration package in a new metric. So I'm going to call this clustering. And notice the R integration package now produced for us the data mining tools and we're going to use the R script which we copied from the deploy R so in this case we're going to paste it here now notice it's not done yet you have unidentified variables that you start need you need to start grabbing your variables and your such as storage etc one at a time with commas etc until you're done by adding them all of them once you're done you can test your script click OK and there you go there's your new metric you can use it here if you want so let's go to the clusters alright so here we go we have all these clusters and we want to create something uh, with that identifies our clusters by color and these colors don't show us great detail so we can 
let's just use something like red, yellow, green. Add one more. Give it maybe something like orange. That will be true to the number of clusters that define the formula. In this case, like you see, two explicitly distinguished clusters and two that are a lot similar. So it's pretty much a better fit for three clusters in this case. Now I utilized R to create this clustering analysis and integrate it back into MicroStrategy. This gave you a little bit of flavor of how to use MicroStrategy with R, how to deploy it, how to save your scripts and how to use them later in the deploy R to create metrics and how to put the metrics back into MicroStrategy update the variables and produce your results and uh, utilize those metrics as you need whether color etc uh, like i said you need to know a lot more about r to create your own r scripts but once you get a hold of it or you can use at least you can use the basic off-the-shelf tools with MicroStrategy, you'll be able to take advantage of this tool thank you very much